Welcome back to Mental Evolution, taking you to the next level. Have you ever felt like you're not smart? Or at least felt like you're not as smart as your friends or the people around you? Have you ever had a conversation with a group of people and you completely felt lost because you had no idea what they were talking about? Especially when you felt like you should be able to comprehend what they were talking about. Well, I have and believe me, it's not a good feeling. You look at that one friend that seems to know a lot or everything about, well, everything. At the point, I actually believe that some people are born smarter than others. And although some factors like attending a good school can make some people appear smarter than others, I can assure you that nobody is born smarter than another person. We all have equal abilities and potentials. And just because some things appear easier for some people, that doesn't mean that we all aren't born with special gifts and talents to help us improve and enhance our abilities. And don't worry, in this video, I'll be telling you the proven ways to help you increase your intelligence or your IQ. Number one, challenge yourself. You can't reach a destination without being in motion. So put your brain in motion. What are you weak at? Find out and put more attention to that. Each time you spend on it makes you understand it better and better and brings you closer to getting the hand of it. And who says you have to figure it out alone? Find someone who is strong in that area and pick their brains. We live in a world surrounded by resources, information, books, videos, and all these things are in our fingertips waiting for us to use them. Growing up, a lot of people told me that physics is going to be the hardest science subject that I will ever face. And trust me, hearing this made me conclude, even without trying, that I will be bad at it. And yes, I was really, really bad at it. But when I realized that physics was my weak point, most especially because of fear, I started studying physics like my life depended on it. I read it more than any other subject and I made sure I opened it every day, even if it was just for some minutes. Not only that, I also asked people for help anytime I was stuck. And trust me, I got stuck a lot. But trust me it was so worth it i scored so high in my final results in physics and i know i would never have done that if i didn't challenge myself number two find your technique and do what works for you don't try to copy someone's method down to the last rather than that use their method as a guideline to find out what works for you if you enjoy studying more when listening or looking at the screen rather than when looking at a book or reading then invest in audio books and videos if you study and retain information better during the day than at night just because you're more active during the day and less tired then do it try various methods till you find out what works best for you the method you use doesn't matter as long as you're gaining and retaining the information number three exercise exercise doesn't just help you physically it helps you mentally exercise increases your blood flow to the brain it helps you with memory retention and of course it sends oxygenated blood to your brain which gives your brain energy to work and think and promotes the growth of neurons and hormones which are important for your brain's overall health so you see you can actually do this so start today to work and enhance your iq and don't forget you got this